Well, hi everyone. This story broke yesterday about the demolition work going on at the Westbound Washington Bridge, where apparently the demolition contractor, Etna Vinagro, had a hydraulic leak that discharged hydraulic fluid into the Seekonk River. I've got a link to this story in the description to this video, but I have quite an extensive network of connections of people who provide detailed information to me on a confidential basis. So I wanna send a shout out to all you folks out there who are supporting these videos and my efforts and your efforts to expose the truth with what's going on with Rhode Island DOT relative to the Washington Bridge. So to that end, I wanna thank Josh from Providence. He's on multiple occasions provided uh, drone footage that I'm going to summarize here in today's video. Also, a shout out to Chris. Chris also in Providence has provided uh, drone footage to me in the past. So let's get started. So we're just going to roll this footage. This was recorded March 13th, 2025. I'm recording this video on March 14th, 2025. You can see the sheen of the hydraulic oil that's located inside this boom. Coast Guard has been quoted as saying that that boom was improperly installed, so hydraulic fluid leaked beyond the boom into the river. You can see also that they're getting a lot of debris into the river itself, and that's not supposed to happen according to their demolition plan and their permitting requirements. So again, you can see the oily sheen there. Looks like uh, construction activity or demolition activity has been suspended for the time being. But you can see they're really getting well into the bank with their excavation. And I suspect that is to remove the debris, but they're going a little farther with it. Now here's some footage from February 25th. This is just after they had removed the remaining span of the Gano Street ramp. See a lot of debris out there. It's a, been a pretty messy operation. And you have to wonder, is the state of Rhode Island getting their money's worth? I mean, the original demolition contract was just for the superstructure, which is the bulk of the bridge to be removed. And that was $45 million, $2 million higher than the next bidder, which was Sigma Manafort. And then a few months later, Rhode Island DOT hands Aetna Vinagro a $38 million change order, apparently sole source, didn't solicit any other proposals for the demolition of the piers, uh, pier footing, and the top few feet of the piles. So they're getting a pretty messy operation for a job that they clearly paid a premium for. All right, let's go back to what this looked like on February 5th. This was right after those news stories broke of large sections of the fascia girder spans being dropped onto these barges with a lot of debris going into the water. You could see these pothole areas where they're excavating below the mud line to remove debris apparently, which again is contrary to their permits from what I understand. They were allowed to put spuds in for the barges into the mud line, but that was it. So obviously, February 5th, right before they demoed the remaining span for the Gano Street ramp. Let's just take a broader view of the February 5th footage. You see all that debris from this angle clearly in the river. This is at low tide. Quite a mess. Let's get some comparison footage here. The upper left panel is from February 5th, 2025, and the lower right panel is from March 13th, 2025. You can see with the more recent footage that they've appeared to have excavated farther into the bank, which again, from my understanding, they're not supposed to be doing. Now let's compare the footage from February 25th, the bigger image, to March 13th in the lower right corner. So you can see a lot of that debris from February 25th has now been removed, but again, it appears they've gotten into the riverbank in that process. 
Now these photos were sent to me yesterday as well. You can see, again, this is at low tide. You can see rebar, chunks of concrete in the Seekonk River. A lot, of, a lot of material there that I believe should not be there. Another view, again, this is at low tide. But I'm willing to bet that RIDOT Director Peter Alviti will say, this is normal, this is all going according to plan. I don't buy it, and I hope continued scrutiny is applied to this project because, again, there's been many, many incorrect statements, in my opinion, made by Director Alviti relative to this bridge demolition in particular. So again, I've got a link in the description if you would like to contribute to buy me a coffee. That support really helps me improve the production value of these videos as well as enables me to do enhanced research for the production of these videos. Certainly, I want to thank the channel members. I enjoy a high level of interaction with the channel members, so I really appreciate that. And certainly, I want to send a shout out to those of you who provided super thanks. That's another way to support the channel. So stay tuned. I've got a what I call a bombshell update relative to the westbound Washington Bridge. So you won't want to miss that. I'm going to post that video early next week. So please stay tuned.